Hi, uh, my name is Isaiah, and this is my advanced drafting project, along with my fellow classmate, Brian Juniors. Uh, in this ranch house, we chose a simple design, but it was a very large house, so it provided us with a good challenge. We used Revit to draw our ranch house, and they're slightly different. They vary and, uh, from the original floor plan that we originally started from. See, there's different dimensions and different design that we had to start with. Here's some of the floor plan drawings that we have. The kitchen elevations, it includes cabinet ceiling height, countertop height, and overall ceiling height. Some of the kitchen. Here's an electrical plan. It consists of ceiling lights, outlets, and two way and three way switches. The wall section contains uh, insulation, a sole plate, foundation wall, concrete, concrete floor, half inch drywall, a brick banner, and a four inch drain tile. The room legend it involves uh, it basically illustrate where each room is located. Patterns of different colors you can see. It's a key to where to make it easier for you, I guess. In the first floor plan, it includes the mention of the perimeter, a two-dimensional diagram of the house, objects and furniture, section views, and labeled areas. As you can see, there's dimensions, renders. Here's some of the renders that we made. Uh, these two, or these three are mine. These two are Brian's that we did in Best View. Um, if we go to Revit, you can see uh, how we actually did the renders. So we, let's just say I wanted to go from the right side. You just place the camera, expand it, and then you'd adjust it how you uh, you think it's best. You go to view, you'd render it. Not rendering. Bring this up. It depends on what uh, setting you would want to set it as. Uh, best, high, anything lower than high is bad quality. And uh, best takes long, but it, when it comes out, it's worth the wait. Uh, I can change the lighting, sun, interior, or whatever you want it, and uh, clouds if you wanted it. And there's some more renders that we have in here. All right, Revit CD and Autodesk. Uh, it it basically helps you find like things that are made by companies such as bathtubs, doors, toilets, lights, cars. Our Revit CD is more like a upgrade, more detailed things such as cars, basketball hoops, and custom cabinets. You can see there's Lamborghinis and cars and stuff in here in the renders. And you would uh, basically use it by let's see. Okay, so let's say you wanted to find an Xbox or something. You search it, and you find the one you wanted. All right, let's say you wanted this one. So you just download it, insert it into your uh, Revit project, and place it wherever. So then it come out turning like this. Go into Revit. place it wherever right. and materials and paint this tool allows you to paint over whatever you desire so if you wanted a, if you had a white wall and want to paint it black do so uh, you can create your own material so it's whatever you don't find you want to make a new one just duplicate it make a new material if you go into Revit, you'd go to Modify, go to your Paint Tool, and then you just paint whatever you want it, whatever color, make a new material, etc. 
in the walkthrough. All right, um, this is our walkthrough, probably the most essential part of our project. Let's go into Revit. Start with the outside of the house. You got trees, and then there's a. We have a little poolside patio, lawn chairs, table set up, and a little fireplace over here. And then orbit around. And then we have the glass house. It looks better when it has a roof on, but you can see has a little table set up, chimney, etc., etc. Alright, going to the garage. Alright, so in here we have these sports cars, basketball hoop. Little motorcycle, hardware setup, and in the front of the house we have these little these arches that we made, uh, rocking chairs, and then in the living room we have uh, these couches, ceiling fan, uh, grandfather clock. Mantle, chimney, like I said. And then we have TV, PlayStation 4, bookshelves. Alright, into the hallway. Another grandfather clock. And you go into the bedroom. Someone's watching SpongeBob on their twin bunk beds in this little closet. Into the bathroom, there's a a window view with a sink, a toilet, and a bathtub. And there's a twin uh, bunk bed again. Same thing. Same setup with them watching something different. In the living room, it's like the biggest part of the house, basically. <coughs> it has a nice bed, couch setup. Once again, another TV. Um, all right. To the other side of the house, we have the parlor, which is like a, a nice fancy room. Then we uh, upgrade it with a nice portrait of, I forget what that was called, window view, laptop. A dining room with a table, window view again, kitchen, probably like the most detailed part that we did. Uh, has the cabinets with a nice wood color, uh, refrigerator, a range, dishwasher, little bar set up over here with the table, a uh, pool table. Then there's one more bathroom. It's the smallest one we have, but it's just the bathroom. Uh, and then we have another bedroom. Not much in there, but right. over here we have the dishwasher, or not the dishwasher, uh, the washer and the dryer. Uh, it's pretty much our house. Alright, this is our last slide, the works cited page with uh, all of our information we have on here. Uh, thanks for watching.